Alrighty. Um, Zendikar Rising best of three. We're going to do a traditional draft here. And we're going to get it going. Um, we're going to open some sweet cards and never draw them. Or trash and draw it all the time. I got my cat sitting right here. Um, so, this is a pack. We opened a mythic that uh, I'm not going to take. Omnath is cool. Uh, but uh, pretty difficult to play in limited. Uh, I know it's breaking standard right now. And everyone hates it, but uh, in limited, it's just not not enough for what you're paying, right? Playing four colors, double splashing, not where you want to be. Sajiri Shelter is fantastic. Uh, one of my favorite uh, mobile double face cards here. And I think uh, we've also got Canyon Gerbow, which is fine. Shepherd of Heroes, I would probably take over it. Vanquish the Weak and Rabid Bite are totally serviceable. Uh, removal spells as well. But we're going to take Royal Eruption. It's the best common in the set, in my opinion. And uh, super versatile, super good. Exactly what Red wants to do, and it goes in any Red deck. Um, it's also probably worth splashing for, honestly. It's that good. So... This is another amazing pack. Uh, the, someone took the rare, um, but we have two very strong red uncommons. One of the best modal double-faced lands at uncommon. Um, I think it's up there with um uh, Black Bloom Rogue and Umara Wizard, Balagad Recovery, um, Sajiri Shelter, and uh, and um, Akum Warrior. I think are the best. Uh, MDFCs in each color at Uncommon. Feed the Swarm is fantastic. Into the Royal is uh, probably the second best common in the set after Royal Eruption. So the debate is do I take Umaro Wizard um, or Thundering Spark Mage? Thundering Spark Mage is fantastic. It keeps us in red, but it goes best in red black. Same thing with Shatter Skull Minotaur. That's where you get all the payoffs. Umaro Wizard is just fantastic in the Wizard's deck, but then we're taking a second color and sending a weird signal. I'm still going to take Umaro Wizard um, and see what we can see. Okay, so if we would have taken the Thundering Spark Mage, we would have picked up Malakir Blood Priest here. But because we have Umaro Wizard, now we're going to pick up that into the Royal. See if we can get some sort of red-blue Wizard's deck or blue-based deck <laughs> something with blue in it um we are seeing we saw a feed the swarm last pack a vanquish of the week we opened and then a malakir blood priest so i'm pretty sure the folks to our left are going to be picking up these black cards um so we might not see any impact too uh, hopefully we can see some good red and this was just a bad pack for red it looks like an, a rare and an uncommon are missing out of here um but yeah we're gonna take into the royal wow okay so, um, we could take Night Runner, but I'm going to take the Legion Angel here. I have yet to live the dream, but it is the dream to open two of these and be able to play them in a draft. That way you can put one in your sideboard and do the thing. Um, we're going to take it here, a 4-3 Flyer for 4. It has a higher upside um, than a Grotech Night Runner, which is the second card I would choose out of this pack. Um, yeah, but pretty easy Legion Angel here. Wow, the black is flowing, so it's white. Uh, there's a Field Research and a Draga Visionary, another very strong pack. I'm going to take Shepherd of Heroes. Maybe I should... Maybe I should take Feed the Swarm. Because this will be another 5-drop. We already have a 4-drop, a 5-drop. But do I want to branch out and do a third color? I'm gonna. Oh gosh, man! I'm kind of wishing I took that stupid uh, spark mage in pick two. Then I would have followed up with blood priest, blood priest. Okay, I did it. I just took it. All right, I'll take it. Juraga visionary out of not a great pack here. Maybe I'm supposed to be taking this cell sword or molten blast though. Take the best card here. All right, this is a good sign. Uh, Jewelry Disruption is a fine playable card. Um, it's it's the best card in this pack. 
Uh, if it wasn't here, maybe I take um, Ambusher, Duelist. I don't know. But I'm gonna take Jadari Disruption for sure. So it's looking like we're gonna be blue. I don't know uh, what else we're gonna do. Maybe white. Uh, field research is nice. If we are in the blue-white deck, maybe I can get some of those Spoils of Adventure, which is just a better card. Yeah, we'll take Nahiri's Binding. It's removal. I'm thinking we're going to be playing some white cards this draft. We have two big flyers. Uh, in blue, we have a big flyer, so maybe we can do some sweet party shenanigans. Sadly. Looks like we're not going to be playing Royal Eruption. But we'll see. We'll see. You never know. We don't know what we're going to wheel. The wheel is very, very important in this format. Um, it really does determine how you figure out which lanes are open. Like right here, uh, the fact that we wheeled a Shepherd of Heroes, which was, I think, the only good white card in the pack. If I remember right. Also, a Ghastly Gloom Hunter. So, a Vanquish the Weak was taken out of here. Uh, there's two red cards left. I think there was some decent blue as well. Um, we're going to take Shepherd of Heroes and uh, follow that up with a Disenchant for the Boar or Smite the Monstrous. I think uh, Nahiri's Binding deals with big creatures. We don't have to worry as much about them. So, we're going to take uh, Disenchant. Do we want Dauntless Unity? I do like Dauntless Unity as a card, but considering we have three five drops and a four drop already, I don't think we're the, the go wide deck necessarily. Now I think I'll take Subtle Strike. Maybe that's a signal black is, is not being drafted. I think red ship has sailed. Uh, maybe. Okay. So not going especially well. Took us a while to figure out what we were doing here. Uh, Negate's a good sideboard card. Um, Deliberate is a borderline playable. Roost of Drakes is a good signal. There's also a Thwart the Grave. We would have gone down that Rakdos route. Um, we could have got some sweet ones. There's an, uh, there's another Royal Eruption too. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, what do we wheel out of here? Nothing. Uh, maybe a squid. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so maybe this or this. Would rather have, if we're party, I guess I'd rather have the Cell Sword. But uh, yeah, we're going to take Roost of Drakes. Whether we have Kicker or not, Dauntless Unity would have been sweet. Instant speed, pump, pump your team, make a Drake. That sounds pretty good. White doesn't have great kicker cards, though. That's one of the issues with white. All right, so this card's fine. Not impressive. Um, Celebrant is great. Uh, white, common, um, just does good work, gains you a bunch of, bunch of life, holds the ground. Geyser Mage and Royal Mage are two very, very good wizards. Uh, so this is this is tough. We want four of these cards, and these two are probably leading the pack for me. I'm going to take the first Royal Mage. Um, we don't have great spells to get back right now, but we do have one into the Royal, um, which has Kicker, and will trigger Roost of Drakes. It also has Kicker for Roost of Drakes. So we're going to take that. It's also a wizard for our... Umara Wizard. Speaking of great kicker cards, Blood Chief's Thirst. Wow. So black looks like it's open both directions here. Um, I'm going to take Bubble Snare right now. I guess we're not married to white. We do have four very, very strong cards in white. But Bubble Snare is very efficient removal. Goes, It has kicker. Goes great with our, our Roost of Drakes. It's pretty clear that we're going to take that. All right, another Blood Priest. I think our Rakdos deck could have been insane. Uh, Fearless Fledgling, though, is ridiculous. This card, if you can drop it turn two and your opponent can't answer it, it's just going to win the game. So it gets out of control so fast. 
Um, yeah, so we're going to take that pretty easily. I do want a Stalker and a Banneret in this deck, a one of, or two of this, actually. I think it's a fine win con in the Azorius deck. So the card with the highest upside by far is Relic Vile, Relic Vile and that's what we're going to take. I'm hoping if I can get like five or six Clerics in this deck, maybe a couple Stone Pack, Stonework Pack Beasts, um, this card will be uh, turned on most of the time. It's not just, it's most effective, of course, in the, the Tribal Clerics deck, but it's very, very strong if you can get it going. It's almost impossible to beat this thing. Not as, as strong as like a Roost of Drakes, but it's, it's up there. Um, I think it's on par with Relic Amulet once they get going. We are passing the Salundi Vision, which is a fine card. But, uh, yeah, another. We could have had four Blood Priests in this deck. That's insane. I'm going to take the Seagate Colossus. Um, maybe I should be taking... No, 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 no. Stay the course, Steve. Okay. Seagate Colossus. Here we go. Uh, Farsight Adept we don't need. We should be able to get Wizards out of blue. We're going to take the MDFC here pretty easily. Buying Bales is fine. Fine card. Uh, we're not milling them. But it is nice to have a counter spell. Uh, I just don't think uh, that's where we want to be. We'll play Seagate Colossus. We'll be excited about it. We did Wheel of Felidar. Um, happy about that. Um, not going to take Adept here. Uh, Squid is fine. How are we doing on two drops? One. Only two. How many creatures? Eight. We just need solid creatures, I think. I'm going to take the Felidar. It doesn't really fit in with the theme. It's just a... But it, it is a solid defensive creature. It has Vigilance. It can get in for some damage. It's a threat that gets a little bit out of control uh, as the game goes on, so... I'm going to take that here. Hopefully, um, you can wield that core celebrant, huh? That'd be pretty sweet. Toss Cobble. Greg. All right. Keeping it simple. We did. Well, look at that. That's pretty sick. This is one of the best commons in white. Like this, Hiri's Binding is very good. Um, Shepherd of Heroes is very strong, but I think this might... It's up there. It's top three for sure. A lot of people are down on the Hiri's Binding, but it's still a good card. All right, now over second, Felidar. I think I do want Banneret here. Um, we just... We have enough top end right now. We have Legion Angel, we have Felidar, two Shepherd of Heroes, Morrow Wizard, two Seagate Colossus. Yeah, we just need cheap stuff. Take a Protector. It's another Cleric. And now we're at four. So I think if we can get six Clerics, that becomes an include. Okay. This is kind of what we wanted to do. We do want those full party payoffs. Uh, someone's going to take our Umara Wizard probably going to take this royal mage we might wheel a celebrant but this is a rogue um how many warriors do we have four legion angel oh i forgot yep and then the two colossus okay so there is a non-zero chance we can turn this on we don't have any rogues though it's our first rogue so we really um this is a sweet one i think the correct pick is umara wizard for sure 100 percent uh umara wizard is but I'm going to take the Trap Finder because why the hell not? It's sweet, right? Um, now we have Core Blade Master and no equipment. Expedition Healer, Celebrant, Pack Beast, which we want really bad. Um, Bain Veil. There's a Thought Thief, which is so good. And then a Zulaport Duelist, which we hope to wield. I think the best card is probably Celebrant here. Um, but we're going to wheel one of these white cards, so I'm going to take the Pack Beast because I don't think it's going to wheel, uh, and it, it counts for our full party shenanigans that we want to we wanna engage in. Now we have an, an, another Nahiri's Binding or Into the Royal. I'm going to take uh, the second Into the Royal. It has Kicker. 
So we like that. Um, I'm not going to wheel it, though. But this is a very, very strong pack. There's These cards are all, you know, not embarrassing to first pick. So maybe we wheel this. I doubt it. But you never know. Okay, so Geyser Mage that has Kicker or Core Celebrant. We could have had like six Blood Priests, and I'm really, really pissed off about it. Oh, we only have two Wizards. I'm going to take the Geyser Mage here. We have four Clerics. I think Geyser Mage, because of the Kicker, kind of pushes that one over the edge. All right, Kabira Takedown, exactly what we wanted. I wish I could take this Seafloor Stalker. But uh, Kabira Takedown is a good removal spell. It's just a very good card. Very, very strong. I uh, didn't get any spoils of adventure. Uh, so we're going to have to be saved in one of these packs Greg is holding on to. Um, I think we need at least one. Um, or we're pretty screwed. I would think. A sure-footed infiltrator would be really sick. Um... Yeah, because right now, wow. Okay, so field research, relic file number two, or another Nahiri's binding. So we have five clerics. A, how many creatures? Fifteen. I think the pick is Nahiri's binding. I think it is. Sad about it. Spoils of Adventure. I'm taking it over Skyclave. Apparition. This card is great. It's it's fine. Um, Spoils of Adventure is what we need. I wish I could take an Expedition of I wish I could take uh, three of these cards. Really bad. But, uh, yeah. We're going to take the Spoils of Adventure. Um, we'll take a Jawari Disruption now. Core Celebrant Wheel. That's sweet. We didn't get any Dauntless Unities, though. I'm really sad about it, but i got to take the Celebrant here. Um, and now I think I have to take the Duelist over Blademaster. So sad. So sad. All right, I need another Rogue, though. All right, Malakir Blood Priest. Here we go. Fine. You get in the deck. You made it, buddy. All right. Mind Drain. So, we do have some cuts to make. I think we got there on Creature Count. Um, we're going to have to figure out what to cut. We got six clerics. I'm including Pack Beast in these numbers, which doesn't register here. Uh, four wizards, five warriors, which is good. And then we have three rogues. What? Ooh, field research. I might play that. We have spoils of adventure and two into the world, so maybe not, but... All right, so I think I'm going to cut Felidar here because it doesn't fit our theme. Then we're going to take a look at our lands. Only three. Seventeen. No, that's not going to work. I do need double blue uh, more often, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I have four. I have four in there. Okay. So two Jawar Disruptions. I forgot. All right. So that's going to be fine for land. We have ten islands and eight planes. We do have a need for double white. Um, we have three cards with it. So do we run nine nine? Would be the question. Or do we stick with ten eight? Oh! Okay. There we go. That's what we're going to do for lands, I think. Forgot about Umara Wizard. So, what is the chafe? The chaff. Um, I don't want to cut any of the spells. I could cut field research. I have 16 creatures, so I can cut one creature, I think. It's either Seagate Colossus or Angel Heart Protector, I think, are the least impressive. 
I do need the duelist, unfortunately. Um, so I have that, the trap finder, and yeah, the pack beast. But so it, it's kind of deceptive here because I don't really need rogues because this is my main party payoff. This is like the broken one. And so as long as he's in play, he's a rogue. So I can cut this duelist here. All it is is a trick in this deck. Um, yeah, it makes our Seagate Colossus a little bit worse, and we gain two less life from Shepherd of Heroes, but there's nothing else really that depends on party. Oh, Spoils of Adventure costs an extra one, but we have a decent amount here of everything else, and we also have Pack Beast. So we have two Rogues, five Warriors, four Wizards, and six Clerics. Um, and now we're at 15 creatures. I don't want to lose a creature, so I think I am going to cut that field research. Let me count our kicker cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess Roost counts as a, kick, a creature. So I could cut that uh, Angel Heart Protector. It's just the least impressive card by a wide margin here. Um, so I think I'm going to cut it. It's that or Colossus. Colossus, I think, is usually a 5-drop. Maybe a 4-drop in this deck. And we have a lot. Maybe I do need the cheaper creature. I'm going to roll with this. See how it does. And then we can make adjustments later. Maybe. How many warriors? We're going to roll with this. We're going to roll with this. We need the cheaper creature. All right. card we're excited about playing is this thing. If we can activate its fucking ability, I'm done. We'll be happy. The deck isn't great, though. It's not great. Um, highly doubt uh, we're going to go 3-0 with this. It's, uh, it's fine, but it's not broken. And the folks we're going to play against are going to have some broken decks. And we're going to draw shitty hands. So um, I'm going to have to mull this. Um, yeah. This is worse. Uh, we're going to keep it now, I guess. At least we can play a Royal Mage on turn two. Fuck. Uh... Um, actually, put that back. Oh, boy. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, now the question is, do I play Royal Mage on 2? This will allow me to catch up, so I'm going to play this next turn. And I won't play Protector, so I am going to get that board presence here. Unless they don't play anything, I guess I'll play Protector. Oh, okay, sure. That works too. Okay. Hmm. Damn it, I wish I had that fucking Vanarat. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Where's Pack Beast? Where is Pack Beast? Fuck. Shit. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So let's um. I'm gonna swing first. Didn't play anything. So 
So next turn we'll kick Roost of Drakes, I think. Big boy. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I kind of got to do it, right? <laughs> I kind of want to do it. Um, so if I play Trap Finder... God, this is so awkward. Um, I want to play Roost. I think I play Roost. I gotta play Roost, right? I gotta play Roost. This is this can happen still. This can still happen, right? Oh, I'm not gonna block. I gotta take five, I guess. I don't know. And then what? He has six mana available. Oh my God. Okay. So they have Living Tempest here. So I could bounce it and then make another Drake. I like that idea. Yeah. And then they waste their whole turn. Really? Okay. Um, we're going to play this in Relic Vile, I think. And then we'll drop the pack beast down next turn so we can give it unblockable. What do you got, bud? So that way this can get in for a card. And then maybe I can. I, well, I can play pack beast. Hopefully I draw land. You got six mana, buddy. Okay, so we're going to play pack beast now. Whenever this creature. We can draw two here. What is our opponent doing? They're just sitting on six mana. Yo. Don't mind if I do. Um... Play this. And then we'll play disruption. Our opponent has six mana and they've done nothing. Why aren't they playing magic? Play magic! Okay. So. I'm gonna play the land. I think. Oh. I'm going to play the land. So we can give this flying. And I'm going to play a three mana fucking Seagate Colossus. Give this unblockable. And then I'm going to fucking kick some ass. Oh my god. This is filthy. <laughs> give me all the cards, baby. Give me the cards! Mm. Yeah. Yes. The cards. I like the cards. I like them. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. This is fun. All right. 20 cards. We're going to draw three more, gain some life. I, I respect this guy for not quitting. I do respect this guy for not quitting. I would have fucking quit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What is his deck? I, I can't even sideboard against it because he didn't do anything. Um, he played a Jiraga Visionary, a Turn Timber Ascetic, and a Tangled Florahedron. Um, it doesn't do anything. What does he do? Was it all land? It couldn't have been. It couldn't have been. Okay, we're just gonna play again. That was sweet. That was cool. I had fun. I had fun. My opponent did not have fun. But I got to draw all the cards. Although he didn't let me cast my Spoils of Adventure, so I'm kind of upset. But uh, we're gonna keep this. 
Not exciting, but we have Jawari Disruption on two, which could be fine, and then a Cunning Geyser maybe on three. Although last time he just didn't even fucking play anything, so who knows? It was worth it. Okay. Yeah, it's looking even better now. We have a turn three and a turn four play. All right. Well. Hmm. That's a good card. Okay. Hand is looking spicy now. Uh, I do need another island pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, I was, if you got the trick. Do I care? Actually, I don't care. I'm not going to block that. I'm going to have a three quarters of a party. I'm going to have uh, wizard and, and warrior and, and cleric here. So, uh, no, I don't care about that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to attack now. Oh, yeah, I also didn't get to live the dream. If I would have had a second one of these, I would have said this deck is insane. Because at that point, this card becomes a, a filthy, freakish bomb. All right, so he doesn't get to attack now. Um, now I get to do some cool stuff, right? Oh, that's not good. Alright, so we're going to do this first, and then we're going to swing for four. I don't think I care about trading with anything he has there. Um, and then uh, I'm not going to block here if he swings. Oh my god, okay, alright. So Draw Good Visionary is a good card. It's a good card. Okay, he's, he's not doing anything. <laughs> That's a pretty sweet one. Um, I think I'm going to cast it to try to get some land here. Uh, first, we're going to swing in case they have something. I don't even know what they could have. Yeah. And then we're going to try to get some land. More planes, but... <laughs> Okay, so what could he have that could kill me? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I guess I could have played Amara Wizard. That was probably smarter. Uh, yeah, on I will block here. I might block here. No, no, I'm not. Because if I don't draw an island, I can't royal cast Royal Mage and Nimble Trap Finder. All right, I guess I take three, six, the 19, the box. Give me an island, thank you. So I do need the warrior out. I have seven mana, so I could play Umara Wizard, but I mean, there's really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, you're gonna block. All right, so I can trade now the Geyser Mage because I'm gonna have Royal Mage coming down. I don't think I need to or want to. Um, nope. I should be able to draw two then. Okay. Draw one then. Um. So I could into the royal, but then I can't make this unblockable. I could 
Royal Mage, which I think I'm going to do and get back Spoils of Adventure here. And yeah, we're gonna just play out this fucking thing, I think is a... Uh... This is lethal actually, so, so he has to block. <laughs> All right. Good one. Nice. Okay. So, I think they're still dead on board, right? Yeah. Because so I'm just going to go ahead and block there. Right. And then I'm going to... Here he's binding... And into the royal. First thing I'm gonna do into the royal. Then I'm going to spoils of adventure for funsies. Yee. Fun. All right, I guess we can do this then. Boom. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was fun. Double Roost of Drake's deck. Woo! Spicy. That was a spicy deck then, it turns out. Uh, it was built on Roost of Drake's, and he had two of them. Uh, that card is busted, but we only saw an one into the Royal and one Gnarled Colony from him. He had two Draga Visionaries at least, Cleric of Chill Depths, but it's possible our opponent's deck was very good. It just He just had a couple of shitty draws maybe. I don't, I don't know. And we got the nuts. We got Legion Angel, Shepherd of Heroes, our rare, and a full party. Both games. So we can't expect that. We really, really can't expect that going forward. So that was kind of the maximum potential of the deck, but our opponent had zero removal. He had one into the Royal. So um, any, any deck with a way to remove our shit uh, is gonna, it's gonna fuck us up. Right? So... That was the best matchup we could have asked for. And some of the best draws we could have asked for. I don't know if I can keep this shit. On the draw, actually, I think I can. I think I can. If I draw a land... Okay. I don't have a, a two-drop, I guess. Okay, I cannot beat that card. Well, all right, never mind. I guess I can beat that card. But... I, no, I can't. I can't beat the card. I can't beat it. Um, it's just going to make buff all his team. I, no, I can't keep up with it. So there's nothing I can do. I'm pretty boned here. Okay, yeah, he started off with two fucking rares. Um, maybe we just go to the next game. All right, let's go to the next one. Yeah, I'm not going to let him have that kind of fun. So we'll put in Disenchant because he's playing Nahiri, and we know he's going to have some shit. He's white red. Maybe I want Negate. So what do we take out? Looks to be somewhat aggro-y. Take out a field research. Put in Disenchant. I could put in Negate. They were white red. So they're gonna have equipment and enchantments and removal. So it's a, a probable inclusion for that, I think. 
You have one card that can deal with it, but it's only if we draw it first. And we got mana fucked, so I should have mauled. Uh, I didn't, and um, that sucks. So. It's between Relic Vile and Disenchant, I think, to get rid of, or Negate. Maybe I'll just take on Negate. Alright, let's hope we draw better. We saw our opponent win 2-drop, 3-drop, rare, rare. Um, must be nice. Must be pretty nice. Draw first. This is more keepable than the last hand, so for sure. Um, we have a one drop, a two drop, another two drop where we play Disruption. So it's pretty good. And then we can grow our Fledgling. Wait, I chose to draw? I thought I chose to play. I'm dyslexic? I don't know what the hell happened. What the fuck? Oh my god. Another rare? Okay. Um, cool. Uh, they just have all rares. That's sick. Uh, I wish I had all rares. So apparently their deck is just all fucking rares. Nice. Must be fucking nice. Yep. Need that fourth land. So, let's play Trap Finder. Swing for two. I could draw like a Ro Tazim Royal Mage, I think would be the only way I could activate that next turn. Or else I just kick. Okay. Um, sneaking guide, okay. Roost of drinks is what I would do. Ah, of course, of course. All right. Okay, so. Yep, we're just gonna kick this. Swing or no? Next turn, we can pack beast and spoils, which is pretty good. And sw get in there with Trap Finder, we can swing for four. Fuck. That's really bad. We'll definitely trade Banneret for Pack Beast here if they try it. Okay. Can't beat that. Full party. Perfect. 
perfect draws. Okay. Nope. Can't walk. So Celebrant does it. So I can cast Celebrant Binding on Captain. Binding. And then draw a couple more. Geyser Mage and Kabira Takedown. Okay, so if we can survive this turn, I think we have a good shot. Oh, fuck. So I could... Geyser Mage, Champ, I think. Okay, ooh. Oh, he tapped wrong. Used Auto Tapper. All right. Well, that's probably not what he wanted, right? Okay, uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> um, so let me see what he had here. So I didn't see any artifacts or enchantments from him. Royal Eruption... Pack Beast. He had two Pack Beasts, though. I think I'm going to bring in Negate in exchange for Disenchant. Although Disenchant is a nice way... Well, I think we will bring in Negate. Well, it's probably better. Oh, oh, oh. Not Deliberate. Negate. Do I want to bring in Felidar to hold the ground? Well, he has Pack B or he has Sneaking Guide to get shit in, Miri Captain, Shepherd of Heroes. Um huh. I think we're good. I think we're good. Terrible hand. Terrible. Don't know if I can keep that. I think I have to maul. Better. What do I put back? Um, probably negate. Sure. Fuck. Nope, I gotta do it. I have to take the chance. Utility knife? Fuck. Well, I guess I should have brought it back in that fucking, uh... Hmm. Maybe you do just play Pack Beast here. And just block. Sure. Oh, he's got something. Okay. Looks like I'm getting fucked on lands here. And I can't beat that. So. Yep. That really the only card I have in the deck that could have beat it. There's his rares again. There's his fucking rares. 
Yeah, I mean, if all he draws is rares, I don't know what I can do. I don't know what I can do against just all rares. I don't think I can do anything here. I can't take another hit from it. So. Swing for eight. Then we'll bounce it pre combat here. All right, combat. So that's also a four four then. So I need to draw a land. I should have actually bounced that Akiri. Probably. But if I can draw a land, I might be able to win. Very small chance. Because he's going to have removal here. Yeah. Oh, okay. If I would have saved Jawari Ruins, I might have been able to uh, win. I don't know. Definitely going to block with both if I can. Um, okay. Hmm. If I draw a party member, I could potentially make this unblockable. Okay. I think that's my only out. Nope, never mind. I'm just dead. I am just dead now. So if they do that, they get... I have to block two, three. Nope. I am dead. Yep. No, he drew too well. He drew his rares. His rares are better. His rares are better than mine. Whatever. No, nope. his rares are better. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, and he drew him uh, every game that he won. Well, he had three. Um, and his, yeah, his rares were better. Yep. And he had removal, and I didn't. So, I would have won if... I had no, no, that would not well. Yeah, I would have won if I had uh, Juari disruption up. It's another uh, unkeepable shit hand. You know, I don't. My opponents don't have to fucking mull. I don't know why the fuck I have to mull. I'm going to fucking keep it, because one mana, and I can at least fucking field research. It's too slow. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Um, now, what do I do? Do I just cast Juari Disruption? I think I... 
I'm going to play this first. If I don't draw a land next turn, I will play Jora Disruption. Which is stupid. Um, I should have played... Fuck off, man. Alright. So they're going to tap out here. So I'm going to be able to Jawari Disruption, I hope. Mm-hmm. Now I just have to draw a land next turn. It's not a fucking land. I can take the one. Still no fucking land. Just fucking ridiculous. Just fucking ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna play this fucking thing. It's probably gonna get removed. I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna take five next turn. Okay. Vanquish the weak. What, dude? Yup. Taking six. Okay. I drew a fucking land. Now I can binding. Alright, it's both triggered, so it doesn't matter. Snare. So I take two, but hopefully I just need to draw a fucking land again. Um, if I can play Legion Angel, then Shepherd of Heroes will gain extra life. Question is, do I just play... I think I just do this first. So he has two cards in hand. I'm assuming this thing's going to die. Um, yep, and then I, okay, all right, well, it stopped attacks, and now I can gain four life, all right. If they have subtle strike, okay. Okay. Disenchant's coming in. Oh, shit. Can't, I thought I had more mana than that. All right, my turn. Um, so I can do that. All right. So. No, 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 no. Fuck. Mm. 
They would have to double trade. What should I do? So if I field research for three, I can bind veil and then I take five. I think I'm just gonna do this and, and hope. <laughs> All right, nope, didn't get there. So it looks like I'm taking seven next turn. Next turn. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I play Mara Wizard, I guess. So I have to draw, and here he's binding, and that's my only out right now. Oh god, they have Thwart the fucking grave. No, we're dead. We're fucking dead. Yep, their deck's better. Their deck's just better. <laughs> their deck is better. So if I do that, I can still buy Invale, so we're going to have to try. So we eat the champ. Eat the pack beast. Take six? I, I, I don't... Okay.
into the royal. So casting C8 Banneret. We're gonna do this. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're gonna do this. No, I should have cast fucking half beast. All right. So I have six mana. I guess I can pump now. Um, or I think we we do cast pack beast. Um, and then we can into the royal next turn. Uh, two. We into the royal the colossus, right? I think I can survive next turn, I think. Do I take Relic Vial and just cast into the Royal Unkicked? I think I do. Alright, and then I'll just do it Unkicked. Trade there and there and take three. I go to one. And then I lose some fucking creatures. Turn we have nine mana. Probably gonna Tazim Royal Mage get back into the Royal. That's my only option. Okay. Fledgling. By Invale. That doesn't really. I'd rather have into the Royal. That's pretty good. I think I still into the Royal this turn. I think I do.
just that. Is to five if he pumps so double block let me see what he's got rogue wizard clear it for I, I should have blocked with Royal Mage. That's really stupid of me. Okay. And then give Trample, I presume? Yep. Sick. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Um, wow, okay. Uh, that was really, really dumb. Uh, what? Oops. Oops, okay. So big fucking oops. So, I can swing in with Royal Mage and this thing. Um, and if he wants to trade Intimidator or Beast, he can, um, yeah, I'll do that too. He's taking two, I'm drawing a card, and then he's probably got to block both and trade, and then he loses two more. Okay. Sick. I'm happy about it. So I lost my war, uh, my, my wizards. I did not think we had any chance in this game at all. No, I need a wizard. Let's go, baby. All right. So we're bringing in Disenchant, and we're taking out um, Field Research. His deck is grindy, though. It's really grindy. He has Thwart the Grave in there. Maybe I do need Field Research. Um, what do I take out? 
Jawari disrupt? No, no, no. Could be Angel Heart Protector, but that leaves me long creatures. I don't like that. Field research. Yeah, I think I'm going to take out the field research. I have Relic Vial to grind through some shit, Spoils of Adventure, and Tazim Royal Mage to help out. So. Hopefully Disenchant just gets that fucking Colossus off the battlefield. Did not think we were going to win that one. Didn't think so. <laughs> not one bit. Not one fucking bit. Whew, Nimble Trap Finder again. That's like been so clutch in all these games. It's just ridiculous. Okay. It's just been a ridiculously good card for me. I'm going to keep this. Really need land. Again, it's a common theme. 18 land in the deck. 18 fucking land. Eighteen land. Let's go. Don't do this to me. Don't fucking do this to me. This hand is too good. Yeah. Oh, he brought that in, eh? All right. Well. It's a land. It's a good one. And we have Relic Vile, Spoils. Into the Royal. If we draw one more land, we can cast Spoils. Um, or else we'll just play Relic File, I guess. One's slow. Tabaracks. So we're going to hear he's binding that, binding that as soon as we can do so. I didn't see any clerics other than the pack beast from him last game. Thank you. That's a great draw. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna binding here. Swing for two. Next turn, see, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on him, which is silly for me to do this. But I have, I have to stop that thing anyway, and it stops him from, me from attacking. It does put pressure on him. Um, yeah. Hopefully he only has the one Molten Blast that he sighted in. All right. He could have Feed the Swarm, but it's a sorcery, so... I don't, I don't know what's going on. Malakir Rebirth is the only single black mana spell in this format, I believe. So, I don't know what's going on. I think he's pissed, maybe? I don't know. Mind Drain fucks me here. Okay. That's fine. Jewelry Disruption, you say? So if they play another warrior... Or try anything. Go into the royal. 
sure. Make things not able to block me, eh? So I could into the royal and then Jawari disruption it. I don't know if that's... Whatever. I can rather have the card. Oh, he didn't recast it. Okie doke. So he must have vanquished the weak here. Something like that. Or he could have Deadly Alliance. Deadly Alliance on the Celebrant, I guess. Colossus. Yeah. Six minutes. Gonna into the royal that. It's pretty good here. Seven mana. I think I'm just going to get this down and then have spoils. Um, and then I'll spoils. And then I'll cast Seagate next turn, I guess. So I'm going to take a hit here. Pretty hard one. Fuck. Card never works out for me. Um, I can Royal Mage. Get back into the Royal. Bounce. And swing for six. Yeah. Not what you wanted to do. He has to kill the celebrant now for one mana. Yeah, I'm going to block. Next turn, I just sack. Nighty night. Who 
Oof. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, we didn't 3 0. I didn't think we were. Uh, I was thinking it was going to be a 2 1 or a 1 2. Uh, middle match, we just got fucked up. And, uh, yeah. But the deck was really fun. Really fun. So, I'll count that. I'll count that as a win. <laughs>